it's 4 a.m. and I'm in Marsh Harbor. I'm at uh, a school, it's a shelter, and uh, I'm thinking of staying here because it looks like it's closer to the path of the eye of the storm, and it's also, I think, a little safer, too. Uh, we're on a little bit of a hill, and uh, it's a nice big building with a lot of walls. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about storm surge. I think the wind here is gonna be crazy, but uh, that I could deal with. And we have a good rain band sweeping in now. Radar showed it coming. It's 8 a.m. I'm in a storm shelter in Marsh Harbor and uh, the wind's really starting to pick up now. Folks are streaming into this facility, uh, mostly folks who are just worried about storm surge, but also folks whose homes aren't strong enough to withstand the wind. People are just pouring in here and the weather is rapidly deteriorating. Eight fifteen a.m. and Hurricane Dorian has just been upgraded to a Category Five hurricane with 140 knots, which is hard to believe. The worst of it is literally minutes away. An eye wall is approaching, and it's going to be here any time now. The eye wall of the hurricane is literally just offshore. It's going to hit any minute. I don't know that people realize. We seem to be in some kind of big moat. It's uh, extremely windy, very strong gusts, as you can hear, but it's not raining too hard. It's just kind of like a drizzle. And also the pressure's been stuck in the 990s for a while now. So we are definitely not in the core of this thing. We seem to be dancing around it. Not sure what's going on because I can't load radar pictures, but it does seem like it is gonna pick up soon. Just before 11 o'clock, pressure is 982.5 millibars, and uh, wind's blowing good, but nothing too crazy yet. Radar shows the eye wall is just offshore. But we don't want to. We don't want to open any windows or doors. We want to keep everything closed. The less wind in the room, the better. Yeah, that that. Okay. The boards are coming off the windows, and people are getting a little concerned. Let's and like just put her in there, and and just keep her in there. And keep you safe. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be good. Where is she? Oh no no, we're, get her up. All right. Okay.
boards are going to come off the windows. So we're trying to trying to move the children to a safe place. These boards, these boards are not going to stay on this window when they come off we're in trouble. I think now we're really getting in it. Yeah. The wind is shifting, by the way. It's coming more that way, which is good because we got a solid wall there. And then no wind's going to knock that down. Whoa. Did that tree just blow away? The whole, this, this whole half of it just ripped blew away. Whoa. Just before noon, and we're at 960 millibars. The wind is ripping really hard, but the scary thing is, we have like another almost 40 millibars to lose. We have a lot of isobars to go through, a lot of gradients. I think the wind's gonna get worse. And uh, this building's taking all it can get. Cars are, are like picking up.
I think so. I think so, yeah. It's got to be. It's got to be. Hopefully, like, the 20 minutes, maybe. Uh, uh, Yeah, exactly. We'll be okay, don't worry. We're, we're going to be okay. I, I have total confidence. the windows we're trying to keep them out keep out the wind Seven, sky is brightening. Pressure is like it's been fluctuating between like nine, fourteen, and nine eighteen millibars. I think, I think we're almost in the eye. Oh my god, I think we're almost in the eye. is just thrown over all over the parking lot like every which way wow we're in the eye we're in the eye I want to go outside the door is wedged shut oh there we go
40 p.m. Uh, and uh, we're in a new place. We relocated during the eye because our shelter was basically destroyed uh, by those crazy winds. We uh, came to the main government building and uh, were squeezed into a storage closet. We could hear the wind howling and shrieking outside, but we're very safe in here, and we're glad about that. I would say probably the eye passed around 2.30, it seems that's when the wind started to pick up again. This is going to go down in Rama. I wouldn't be in the right. I can see why I can't get them. Let's see what I can get. It's okay.
standing in the Bahamas government complex in Marsh Harbor and you can see just hundreds of storm refugees around me. These are people who have been left homeless by this hurricane. A lot of them from the surrounding areas that were just inundated by storm surge or mowed down by the winds. There aren't a lot of functioning bathrooms. It's uh, It feels like a fairly desperate situation. Help is really needed here and I hope the world knows about this. This is a medical clinic, clearly overflowing with victims. Is there a place to check him in? Two days after Hurricane Dorian smashed this place and the wind is still howling, it's still raining hard. I just have this feeling that this thing is never gonna end. I've never been in a hurricane like this. It just feels like it won't end. And I'm sure folks here are really just tired. Folks who've lost everything. This place looks like a tornado went through it. All the trees just reduced to sticks. Cars just thrown around like toys. House is flattened. I've not seen hurricane damage like this.
This is Marsh Harbor after Hurricane Dorian. Hello. Hey guys. Unbelievable destruction in Marsh Harbor. Combination of wind and storm surge. One two punch. Just flattening this place. A lot of people say they could ride out storm surge as long as the building is concrete. Well, think again. This here is a concrete building that was flattened by Hurricane Dorian storm surge.